This is your Tales Landian Garden and Elysian Seaman Sunday Morning News for June 5, 2022. With anchors Gabriel Cortez and Hannah Manzano, bringing you the absolute news that no other Tales Landian American can ever find across the Tales Landian River region. Stay tuned as Gabriel and Hannah bring you your national, regional, and international news for Sunday. Here are your weekly bulletins for your Sunday morning. Thanks Miss Max. Well good morning everybody. I'm Gabriel Cortez. And I'm Hannah Monsano, and this is your Tail Slandian Gardens and Elysian Siemens Sunday Morning News for June 5, 2022. First off, what happened during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine so far? Sarah Haidai claimed that Ukrainian troops engaged in a block-by-block fight for the city of Severodonetsk and managed to push back Russian forces by 20 percent. That's right, Gabriel. Alexander Bogomas, the governor of Russia's Bryansk region, claimed that Ukrainian forces carried out strikes on a village in the region. Russia claimed that it shot down a Ukrainian military transport plane carrying weapons and munitions near Odessa. President Zelensky claimed that Russian artillery hit Vyatohorsk Klavra, an early 17th century Ukrainian Orthodox monastery in eastern Ukraine, engulfing its main church in flames. Russia denied involvement and accused Ukrainian troops of setting fire to the monastery before pulling back. It was reported that a private airfield in Ukraine's Kharkiv region was hit by a missile strike, damaging planes and destroying several hangars. President Putin did an interview on Rossiya 1 TV channel. He was asked about deliveries of long-range missiles to Kyiv, if they are supplied, we will draw appropriate conclusions from this and use our own weapons, of which we have enough, in order to strike at those facilities we are not targeting yet. All right, Hannah. All right, we start off at CSA Airport with correspondent Sarah Nicholson with United Airlines inaugural flight to Guam with their own Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner aircraft. Sarah, are you there? Thanks, Gabriel. I am live from Chaseville Santa Angela International Airport in Windsor because United is starting the inaugural flight to Guam with their Dreamliner aircraft. United does more than fly from Guam to airports in Chuk, Fukuoka, Honolulu, Koror, Kosrae, Manila, Nagoya, Centraire, Osaka, Kansai, Pohnpei, Saipan, Tokyo, Narita, and Yap. However, passengers who wish to connect with other United flights to those destinations may do so by booking a connecting flight at Antonio B. 1 Pat International Airport. From CSA Airport in Windsor, Sarah Nicholson, TG and ES Sunday News. And yes, Dalesland Martinson, who is in charge of the CSA Airport Airlines and Destinations rosters, has updated it again as Guam is the next destination on CSA Airport's list. Goodbye Antonov and 225 Maria. The completed N-225 was destroyed in the Battle of Antonov Airport during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, in which we discussed earlier. An image believed to show the N-225 Maria ablaze in its hangar. Wreckage of the N-225 Maria, showing its collapsed forward end and remaining wing. Hostimal partially cleaned. Live from Hostimal Airport, is Laura Neve Dashe. Laura Neve, are you there? Thanks, Hannah. The aircraft's last commercial mission was from 2 to February 5, 2022, to collect almost 90 tons of COVID-19 test kits from Tianjin, China and deliver them to Billund in Denmark, via Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. From there it returned on February 5 to its base at Antonov Airport in Hostomel, where it underwent an engine swap. On the advice of NATO it was prepared for evacuation, scheduled for the morning of February 24, but on that day Russia invaded with the airfield being one of their first targets. A ban on civilian flights was quickly enacted by Ukrainian authorities. During the ensuing Battle of Antonov Airport, the runway was rendered unusable. On February 24, the N-225 was said to be intact. On February 27, a photo was posted on Twitter of an object tentatively identified as the N-225 on fire in its hangar. A report by the Ukrainian edition of Radio Liberty stated that the airplane was destroyed during the Battle of Antonov Airport, which was repeated by Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba and by Ukroboronprom, Antonov's parent organization. The Antonov company initially refused to confirm or deny the reports, 
and said it was still investigating them. Also on February 27, a press release by Yukroboronprom stated that the N-225 had been destroyed by Russian forces. Yukroboronprom said that they planned to rebuild the plane at the Russians' expense. The statement said, the restoration is estimated to take over 3 billion US dollars and over five years. Our task is to ensure that these costs are covered by the Russian Federation, which has caused intentional damage to Ukraine's aviation and the air cargo sector. The Ukrainian government also said that it would be rebuilt. On March 1, a new photograph, taken since the initial conflict, was tentatively identified as the tail of the aircraft protruding from its hangar, suggesting that it remained at least partly intact, however, further evidence proved to show that the aircraft is inoperable due to the extreme damage it sustained. On March 3, a video circulated on social media, showing the aircraft burning inside the hangar alongside several Russian trucks, confirming its likely destruction. Nonetheless, Antonov stated again that until the aircraft is inspected by experts, its official status could not be fully known. On March 4, footage on Russian state television Channel 1 showed the first clear ground images of the destroyed aircraft, with much of the front section missing. Following Russia's withdrawal from northern Ukraine, the second unfinished aircraft airframe was reported to be intact, despite Russian artillery strikes on the hangar housing it at the Antonov factory at Sviatoshin airfield. Major Dmitro Antonov, the pilot of the N-225, alleged on March 19, 2022 that Antonov Airlines knew that an invasion was imminent for quite some time, but did nothing to prevent the loss of the aircraft. In his YouTube channel, he accused the management of the company of not doing enough to prevent the destruction of the aircraft, after having been advised by NATO to move the aircraft, ready to fly status, to Leipzig, Germany, in advance. Multiple Antonov staff have denied his allegations. On April 1, Drone footage of Hostomel Airport showed the destroyed Maria, with the forward fuselage completely burned and destroyed, but with the wings partly intact. Investigations into rebuilding the N-225 are being undertaken, including the possibilities of cannibalizing the second, incomplete N-225, or salvaging the remnants of the first plane to finish the second. However, there are several obstacles to rebuilding. Many of the aircraft's Soviet-made components were from the 1980s and are no longer made. Engineers quote a price of 350 to 500 million US dollars, although there is uncertainty regarding whether or not it would be commercially viable and worth the cost. However, Andrei Savenko, a former N-225 pilot and aviation author, said in a statement, It's impossible to talk about the repair or restoration of this aircraft, we can only talk about the construction of another Maria, using individual components that can be salvaged from the wreckage and combining them with those that were, back in the 1980s, intended for the construction of a second aircraft. On May 20, 2022, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced his intentions to complete the second N-225, to replace the destroyed aircraft and as a tribute to all the Ukrainian pilots killed during the war. Reporting live from Hostomel Airport, Lauren Eve Dache, tells Landian Gardens and Elysian Seaman Sunday News. Well, have you read the nasty story, Dipper goes to Taco Bell, bend on fur affinity and deviant art, and only read on Ink Bunny? In wake of the Pines twins' deaths from being cut into meat for tacos, the Taco Bell was shut down, and replaced with a new diner, called Enchantimals Carrying is Our Everything Diner. Siobhan Demare has more on the story. Gabriel, I am standing outside the Enchantimals Caring is Our Everything Diner, where Felicity Fox is the manager, Brie Bunny is the cook, and Danessa Deer, Sage Skunk, and Patta Peacock are waitresses. I couldn't wait to dine in at this new diner the Enchantimals have opened up. I am Siobhan Demare, reporting live from the new Enchantimals Caring is Our Everything Diner, Tales Landian Gardens, and Elysian Siemens Sunday News. As of yesterday, Darren Pipster and Diamond Leaf are happily married and are currently living in Grand Junction, Colorado. More on that next week. Preparations are underway of the relaunch of Tail Slandian Gardens trivia at the Charles Blake stage at Avalo Breeze Studios, announced by Gabrielle Durham or Cedric Nars, and hosted by former member of Girls' Generation and SM Town, Tiffany Young. Darren Pipster is currently the producer of the show. We'll have more on that later. But for right now, 
This concludes the Sunday morning news for June 5th. Thank you and have a great rest of your Sunday.